So hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So to be completely honest with you, I don't know where I'm going with this vlog because um, I don't really have anything interesting planned. My aim for this video is just to film things that are somewhat interesting and hopefully by the end of it we've got a decent video put together that you guys will hopefully enjoy. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, the main thing is post office. I'm going to need to go there three times today because I have so many things to send off. And oh my god, I've just remembered something. I was going to go ahead and show you guys this uh, parcel that I'm going to be sending to the lady who owns the company Dainty Paws if you haven't heard of them. They basically sell handmade hammocks for small animals. I did do a little review on their business um, last year. They very kindly sent me some free stuff to review for you guys and I often speak with the owner of Dainty Paws. She's so 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 lovely and we have a lot in common. She's really really sweet um, and the person who owns Dainty Paws and also the person who owns Furnishables. Furnishables are cage stickers. I've shown them on my channel so many times. Basically all three of us are doing a little collaboration we're doing a giveaway over on Instagram. It launches on the 1st of May, so we've just been getting all that stuff together. I'm giving away a pack of my Tiny Hamster Paws um, Coconut Oat Nibble Treats. They're brand new. I only released them maybe like two weeks ago or maybe less than that. So I'm giving away that. Dainty Paws is giving away, I think, two hammocks and Furnishables is giving away one of their tropical themed um, cage sticker pack. So that is what is in this parcel, my treats. Yesterday, I was talking to the owner of Furnishables and she was saying how much she really liked the idea of the coconut treats that I sell and I was like oh I'll send you a pack I was supposed to pack that this morning before I go to the post office which is really annoying because I completely forgot I'm gonna go ahead and do that when I do like my second or third round when I get back home I'm just gonna pack it um so that's over and done with like that's so annoying I hate it when I do that I feel like I should have packed it last night when I was finishing off the boxes and stuff I feel like I'm rambling far too much yeah I thought I would give you guys a really quick outfit of the day I'm not really wearing anything like interesting to be honest with you so basically i'm just wearing this black um not black it's gray it's a gray jumper from primark it's a really nice long one so i really like long jumpers like this it's very very cute it's one of my favorite jumpers um but i'm wearing this like black um long sleeve top underneath it's quite a thin one which is also from primark um because it is a little bit like cold outside i've just paired it with some black leggings um so i really 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 love um casual sort of outfits like this Right, so I've just finished packing my bag, so I'm just bringing my Michael Kors crossbody. I use this all the time. Time right now is it's 18 past nine, so I really need to like leave out ASAP um, so I can get post office over and done with. I literally live in leather jackets all year round, even in the winter I wear leather jackets, but last year I actually bought myself a few coats. I think I ended up getting like two pink coats last year. I don't even know, but I went on like a pink buying spree and I was buying loads of pink jumpers and stuff. Like I'm not mad about it, honestly. Those are some of my favorite jumpers ever. So I've got everything I need to leave out now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my shoes on and I'll speak to you guys a little bit later on today, hopefully. Maybe I might actually show you like my skincare routine of how I take off my makeup maybe because I haven't done that in like years. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm gonna put in this vlog. So maybe we'll do a bit of skincare later. I don't really know, but yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. So I've just got back home. Well, I've actually been home for like 10 minutes. Um, I had some milkshake because I've been obsessed with strawberry milkshake recently. Just packing two orders. So I'm packing the one that is going to the lady who does furnishables. And I just received another order. So I'm in the middle of packing that now. And then this is going to be my last trip to the post office. The weather is so beautiful today. Um, it's really like warmed up as the day has gone on. And the time right now, it is just after 12. Well, it's actually 13 past. So I want to leave out by about 30 past. So I need to get a pack of these coconut treats. So I do have some more in a jar, but I just need to um, put them into the little packaging I have here on the side. Um, but this one's already packed. So I have everything set out here. So these bits are all for the order that I've literally just received. So they wanted these paw print cookies, um, freeze dried chicken. Usually they're not in this packaging. Um, then I got some coconut oaty nibble. And then I've just got this little uh, bubble mailer, which I'm going to pack this um, coconut tree into and I've got all my receipts here from the post office so when I get back home after this trip um, I'm gonna um, sort them all out and I like to staple them together and date it so then they're all like in one place 
So this vlog is going to be really, really, really casual. I feel like my vlogs are quite casual anyway, but this one is like super casual. So please let me know in the comments what you um, actually think of uh, a vlog like this. So to be completely honest with you, the worst part about running a business is doing post office runs because they are never, ever, ever fun. That's literally the worst part of running your own business. Because it just takes so long, um, but it's something that just has to be done anyway. I'm not sure if I can actually fit these into one of those little envelopes instead. Because there's only a few little treats. So I'm going to see if I can actually pop them in here. Then it will save me from using this pink packaging, which is a little bit bigger. So these should all fit in here. So this person is quite lucky because they literally just ordered like 10 minutes ago and their parcel is getting sent out like within the next hour. So some people are just really, really, really lucky like that. So it's perfect timing. So let me just stick their name on the front and get a return address so I can stick that at the back. And there we go. Right, so for this last round of the um, post office, I'm only bringing a little bag with me. So I feel like I haven't actually vlogged in my kitchen for years, but this is what my kitchen looks like. So I'm bringing this little cute pair. I think it's a Morrison's bag. I've got so many Morrison's bags. Carly used to work at Morrison's and most of them are from him, but they're really, really, really handy. I need to try and pack these down a bit so they can actually all fit in the bag. Right, so I'm just getting my coat and all of that back on. I just can't wait to get home and just like take off my makeup. Um, and also when I get back, I need to not only sort out receipts, but mark orders as shipped so that people know that their parcels are on the way. But I'm about to head out again and I will check in with you guys once I'm back. So it should take me about an hour hopefully to go into town and then get back home so i'm finally back from doing all those post office trips i'm really really tired and i'm hungry as well so i just went ahead and put some rice on which i'm going to be having for lunch so right now i'm just going to do a sort of get on ready with me kind of session um and just talk to you guys a little bit um and also show you what products i usually use to take my makeup off so one thing i'm not going to be using is this face mask i was going to do a face mask but now i can't be bothered so first off i'm actually going to remove my my makeup using these makeup wipes so these are from super drugs um i've used these a couple of times i've literally just started using them um i normally use the primark ones but i thought i would um give the super drug ones a go because i was using i can't remember what it was called i think it was called like the wake me up one or something like that that one was really good so i thought i would try another one and i do kind of prefer the super drugs face wipes over the primark ones i feel like they're a lot more I don't know, I just like them. Um, so this one is the Be Beautiful Manuka Honey. So that's what the pack looks like. It's super cute. So I usually use about two face wipes to uh, remove my makeup. And um, you're actually not really supposed to use a face wipe to remove your makeup. Um, it's best if you use like a cleansing oil or something like that. So a few days ago, I actually ordered um, a cleansing oil from the body shop. I love the body shop. Um, a lot of the products I'm about to use are actually from the body shop. So a cleansing oil is a lot better for your skin. Um, and you just put that straight onto your makeup. And it helps to sort of break the makeup down and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to move on to using my second face wipe now. Because this one is like really dirty. And my skincare routine isn't too like crazy and over the top like i don't use loads and loads and loads of products i feel like it is quite sort of simple and my nose ring keeps on twisting face wipes basically just get the bulk of my um, makeup off and then you'll see what i use in a second the next i'm going to use this uh micellar cleansing water and i'm gonna use that with a cotton pad i'm just gonna be using one of these oval ones they're from primark so i'll use about two of these um cotton pads i do have a body shop um 
uh, waterproof eye and lip makeup remover which I do use occasionally I got this for Christmas for my friend Shauna so I'm really happy that she got me this because this product is so good um so yeah I thought I would like briefly talk about what is going on with like my whole hamster situation because I keep getting a lot of questions from you guys asking me if I'm going to be getting um like some more hamsters so if you didn't know i don't have any hamsters at the moment i have no pets because they all very sadly passed away cupcake passed away in december she died december the 31st which was quite devastating because cupcake was literally the best hamster i've ever had and i don't think i would ever have another hamster like cupcake ever again which is really sad um her sister Kashmir, she passed away on i think it was the 30th of march so she died literally like the i think it was the day before i started my work experience um because i did my work experience um from the first to the fifth from the first till the fifth of april I have a vlog up about my work experience if you guys want to go ahead and check that out i'll link it on screen now and i'll also have it in the description um i done a week at a vet clinic it's the same um vet practice that i brought cupcake and cashmere to if you guys are familiar with my channel then you might know what i'm talking about and i done work experience there last february as well um and pumpkin she was a hamster that i adopted me and charlie um adopted her um back in i think it was like back in february um when this all kind of happened and then she passed away i think it was at the start of march which was really like surprising to be honest because i don't actually know what she died of cupcake and cashmere they died of old age i think i got them back in like 2017 so they i did have them for a few years and hamsters they don't live long but pumpkin i was told she was six months old um and charlie had her at um his house for like three weeks and then i had pumpkin for three weeks so next i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face the face wash i've been loving recently it's the body shop tea tree one so it just looks like this i feel like i've shown this before it's really really good i just feel like this tea tree one really cleans my skin and i have a few like spots at the moment i have this massive spot here it's really sore like i got that yesterday don't know where that came from and i have like a spot there i have loads of spots on my face but this one and this one is like the most visible tea tree is supposed to be good for spots so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the bathroom and wash my face and i got a tip for you guys um when you're washing your face with a face wash you should have it on your face for about a minute because then it um, allows the product to work that was a tip i heard a couple of days ago so now every time i wash my face I count up to a minute so then i know it's been a minute so i'll come back to you guys in a little bit i've just finished washing my face and my face feels so 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 clean so i'm just using some carmex because i cannot live without lip balm i hate having dry lips i have lip balm everywhere i've got so many in my makeup drawer i usually keep a eos in my skincare drawer i don't really know where it is right now i have lip balm on my bedside table i have lip balm in my bag when i go out i cannot go anywhere without lip balm to remove any last traces of makeup i'm just going to take this toner so the one i'm using at the moment is the body shop seaweed oil balancing toner so this is what that looks like i started using toners again for the past couple of months i did have the um tea tree one but that one finished so i thought i would go ahead and try this one out this toner is more than halfway through it smells quite nice as well and it's like really refreshing my skin is a little bit well, it's almost dry so the face cream i'm going to be using is the vitamin e nourishing night cream so this is a really good cream it is uh very moisturizing um i have the day cream to it which is not as thick the day cream is a little bit thinner and i also have this seaweed cream and i also have this seaweed one well, this is a oil gel cream it's like a kind of slightly different formula so this one doesn't actually last this long because this one i actually got this year and i don't really use it a lot and it's almost finished so these ones are a lot more long lasting like even though the packaging is so small but you literally just need oops i just dropped it on the floor you literally just need the smallest amount so i'm trying to finish these up because i want to try like 
a different face cream so i do this with like makeup as well like i hate buying makeup unless like i actually need a new product like it's very rare that i'll actually get myself a makeup product if <laughs> i don't really need it and i'm the same with skincare i try and finish up what i have uh before i buy something else or if i buy something new then i just put it aside until i finish what i'm currently using so there's this face oil which i really want to use so this is what it looks like i got it in the advent calendar for christmas last year and i just haven't opened it yet because i'm trying to finish up these face creams so i kind of put on like quite a bit like i didn't really need this much um cream on but yeah this cream lasts ages there's something i want to sort of mention really quickly so um if you didn't know i'm studying animal care and management so i'm doing a level three course and it's two years but you can just do one year if you want so i'm in my second year at the moment and basically we have a trip next month i mean in may um but by the time you're watching this it will be may the trip is in like two weeks and we're going to a place called the eden project and uh i remember my teacher mentioned it last year um she said we might go there and to be honest it doesn't really sound that interesting um i don't really like ecology i hate ecology it's such a boring lesson so we have a trip and it's 145 pounds and i'm just a little bit like why why is it so expensive especially because i don't even want to go um so we're going to this place for two nights and uh, the eden product is about like plants and stuff like that um and then we're also going to two like beaches seasides whatever you want to call it which is kind of near there one is maybe like 20 minutes away and one is maybe like 40 minutes away from the actual eden project and we're going to be staying in converted shipping containers um so that should be kind of interesting but i'm really not looking forward to the trip like i hope when i get there i really really like it but i don't have high hopes <laughs> um but it's just annoying because i don't even want to go and we don't have a choice like we have to go unless we have a really good reason to why we can't go um but a lot of people are complaining about the price of the trip because not everyone has the money for it i have the money for the trip but i would rather spend my money on um something else than on this trip that i don't want to go on i'm gonna be vlogging it obviously um i'm gonna bring you guys with there's a product in here which i forgot to show so this is the witch blemish stick um would i buy this again no but i have been wanting it for years but it's kind of like a little bit pricey for what it is so i've always avoided it and then one day i finally bought it and i'm glad that i actually finally tried it but i would never buy it again i don't think it works but i have spots on my face so i'm gonna like put a bit on i'm not sure if you pull it directly onto your face ah uh, that is stinging that's another thing about this product like you put it on your spots and sometimes it stings i don't know if this works but i want to get my money's worth so i'm just trying to use it up this is what i do if i buy like a makeup product or skincare product that i don't really like i don't want to waste my money so i try and use it up this is literally burning my skin but yeah i've got like how much have i got left of it i've got like this much left so I'm um, just, you know, trying to use it as much as possible so I can get it out of my skincare collection. So this is my skincare drawer. I feel like I've shown it like before in the past. Um, I need to get my, oh, there's a bit of hair in there, but I need to get my um, tea tree face wash and that goes down there. This blemish stick just goes here. And I don't know where my EOS is. I feel like maybe I've accidentally put it in my makeup collection. And here's my mirror that was using. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this back onto my makeup desk let me see if my eos is oh here it is this is not supposed to be in here so this is the one that i use So good morning.
morning you guys i'm about to do my makeup so i thought i would go ahead and do that and talk to you guys at the same time and just sort of show you what products i'm using so i have college today um i have college mondays thursdays and fridays so yeah like i said i thought i would go ahead and just do my makeup and tell you what products i am using so i've already washed my face and i put moisturizer on it so i'm about to prime my face using this primer this one is by mua um i got this quite recently i showed it in a recent vlog uh when i done a little super drugs haul this primer is all right there's only one primer that i found that ever worked for me which was this one from primark that they did a few years ago but they stopped selling it and it was honestly the best primer ever and since then i've never really found one that actually works they either don't work at all this one is all right i have really oily skin so my makeup doesn't really stay any more than like an hour or so um but this uh primer is like one of the best ones i've tried um in a little while so it's not too bad Next, i'm going to use my foundation so the foundation i have been using recently quite a bit is this l'oreal paris one um so this is the true match foundation and i am in the shade uh nut brown i'm gonna wet my sponge first i'm just using this sponge which is from primark and i'm using this makeup revolution hyaluronic fix and this is a um hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray lily got me this for christmas because it was on my christmas wish list um but i really like to use it to dampen my sponge a bit for when i apply my foundation so sometimes i apply the foundation to my face and then i bend it out but sometimes i apply it straight onto the sponge and then i put it on my face so i really really do like this foundation i mean i don't wear makeup a lot to be honest um most days i don't wear makeup hopefully my makeup actually looks all right because i don't normally do my makeup in my bedroom and i'm just using my mirror um on top of my alex nine jewels to see what i'm doing and the lighting isn't really the best right now so i can't really tell if my makeup looks all right or not right so i finished with the foundation where's the lid here it is so i only ended up using two pumps of this and i don't really like my makeup to be really thick i like it to be quite thin so i feel like i'll probably do my makeup like a little bit um back to front but this is just the way i like to use it so next i'm going to mattify my face using this powder um it's from primark and it says it's medium coverage i think this is probably the second one of this that i've brought um i'm in the shade caramel and as you can see i use it all the time it's like the only powder um, that i use i need to keep track of the time because i need to leave out very soon i'm just doing my makeup like really really quickly because it's 20 minutes past seven and i like to leave out about 40 past uh to get the bus to college so i really really like this powder and it does help to mattify my um foundation which is really good i've used this brush for um blusher before but i feel like it works really well to apply um powder i do have like a big powder brush but i usually like to sort of switch between the two so next i'm going to set my makeup using the same spray i was using earlier i don't even know if this actually does help to keep my makeup in place so next i'm going to do my brows i don't really do anything to my eyebrows to be honest like i don't go all like fancy with them um i literally just fill them in a bit so i'm gonna do this off camera um the products i'm using or well, what is left of it it's from primark this was literally a pound and it's one of their like double ended brushes so i do like to get my money's worth it's a decent product i have some um other brow products that i do want to try i think the ones i have are from primark there's quite a few which i do want to use after this but um, I do want to use this product up first because I hate <laughs> wasting makeup. Right, so I've done my brows. So next I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I haven't done this in a very long time. I think Lily actually got me this um, eyelash curler. It's so pretty. I probably didn't use that long enough, but I don't really have time. So I'm going to go in with the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara. This is actually the only Soap and Glory product I've used, like makeup wise. Actually, that's a lie i've used some of their um lip products so this is the side where i've done the mascara so as you can see it does make 
quite a difference. So the last thing I'm going to do is just do my lips. Um, so today I'm going to be using a Maybelline Baby Lips. Now I have like 30 of these and I haven't used one of these in months. It's been a very long time. Um, so this one is from one of their Valentine's ranges, I think. It's kind of like a pinky reddish shade. So here's how my makeup looks. So the spray I've just applied is the um, strawberry body mist and this is from the body shop it smells so good the strawberry scent is one of my favorite scents so i'm about to head out to college now i was going to bring you guys with me but my bag is pretty much full and i film with a camera so it does take up a bit of extra space in my bag so if you're wondering what lessons i have today i have um pet store first and then i have assignment support and then after lunch i have nursing and thursday is my favorite day because i have two of my favorite lessons and there's a lot of assignment support and i have two of my favorite teachers as well which is really good before i head out i thought i would give you guys a really quick outfit of the day so jumpers from primark i got that same black top on no this jumper is not from primark this is from uh black betty i did a collaboration with them like two years ago and i got to pick out a bunch of clothes and this is one of the jumpers i picked um the black top that i was wearing uh was it yesterday from primark this jacket is from primark uh black leggings from primark and then i've just got this bag i don't remember where i got it from but it's really cute <laughs> made myself a bottle of water in my hydrate mate water bottle it's got a tracker on the back i'm not gonna go by the tracker today but i just really want to start drinking some more water so i'm actually just about to go ahead and put a new set of fake nails on so i get my fake nails from primar and i'm going to be using today is called gold marble there's one for christmas from lily because she did get me quite a few sets of nails because she knows i love them so as you can see i have a few um different ones this one i'm really looking forward to trying out like look how pretty that is so i actually have a really quick little pet haul for you guys so these are some items that are going towards the june hamster boxes first off we have these burgess xl nor stick and i did ask you guys over on instagram what some of your hamsters favorite chew toys were the top answer was whimsies but a lot of you guys were also saying that your pets enjoy willow sticks and apple sticks so this pack actually contains willow sticks apple sticks and hazel sticks so the next thing i've decided to include were these vet iq carrot niblots now i actually sell these on my website there's four different flavors apple berry carrot and a new flavour which is tropical um, and yeah so these are really really nice so next we have these and I did include these in a box a couple of months ago just really really useful and I use them myself and they smell really good too a couple of days ago I mentioned a giveaway that was going to be happening over on Instagram so it's now up and quite a lot of people have already entered the giveaway which is amazing if you go ahead and check out my Instagram which is called tiny hamster paws this is my pet one so I post really cute like hamster pictures and updates to do with my shopping stuff so if you go on to the giveaway post all you need to do is follow um, my account um, dainty paws and furnishables and then you just need to leave a comment like three people and that's about it so the giveaway ends on the 18th of this month yeah, if you haven't entered already then definitely do so and these are the giveaway prizes so you'll get two hammocks um coconut treats and cage stickers so here we have my new ipad mini i was not planning on buying this yesterday I ordered this um from argus uh just before six o'clock and it arrived just after seven o'clock on the same day which was a super fast delivery so i treated myself to an ipad mini now i already have an ipad mini here so they're basically the same the only difference is this one is gold so let me take off the case so as you can see this one is gold and it is 64 gigabytes now i've had this ipad since 2016 and the main reason why i got it was so that i could do my editing at the time when i got this ipad it was really expensive it was like 400 pounds and i decided to go for I'm, I'm not sure if it was the lowest storage or if it was the middle storage um because this one is 64 gigabytes and it's honestly lasted me such a long time um the only problem with it is that the screen goes a bit glitchy it's not doing it now because obviously i'm trying to show you so it's deciding to work perfectly but it's got these weird lines that come down the side I've been doing that for a couple of months now um, and as well there's just not enough storage when i'm editing i'm always 
running out of space and it's frustrating so I thought I might as well just go ahead and treat myself to a new iPad. I'm going to be giving Charlie my old iPad like it's only fair because he gave me this iPhone for free um, two years ago so I'm going to give him my old iPad. One is actually a hundred and twenty eight gigabytes. You can't actually get this on the Apple website anymore. Um, I think it's just recently that they've taken it off because there is a new um, iPad mini out but I didn't really like that one. So it's still got the plastic and everything on it. I'm not gonna take that off. You're gonna keep it on but it just feels so weird having a silver iPad. I'm gonna have to get used to that but I've got a whole new charger and a whole new cable. Um, I've actually had to change my iPad charger because it broke ages ago but I've got this really cute ideal Sweden one and I've actually got the matching um, phone case with this design on it. So this is what it looks like. How pretty is that? So I'm glad I actually have a new charger. So I'm not going to be using this iPad yet. I'm not in a rush to use it because this one is still working fine. Um, so I've actually ordered a new case. So I've reordered this case. This one is quite old now as you can see around the side. It's a bit dirty. So I've ordered a fresh case for my new iPad. Um, and then once that arrives then I'm going to start setting it up. And I also thought I would show you this is my other iPad case. If I know I'm going to be watching quite a lot of stuff, then I like to use this one because it um, stands up like this or like this. So it is really, really handy um, and it's super cute as well. It's so pretty. Next, I thought we would go ahead and open up this parcel, which has my stuff from the body shopping. All right, so let's open this up. first one is the strawberry bath bomb. Makes your bath smell incredible. So the next thing I got, which I'm so excited to try out, this is the almond milk and honey um, shower gel. Well, it says it's called a shower cream. So I'm expecting it to be like a really creamy shower gel. I absolutely love the almond milk and honey scent. I remember in one of their advent calendars, they had a body butter and it smelled so good. I thought I would go ahead and get this. So this shower gel is £2.50 um, and this bath bomb is £1.50 and they have a few different scents but um, not many. The main reason why I ordered was to get this cleansing oil. I have quite a few calomel stuff. Um, I really like this rain. Oh it's got calomel extract from Norfolk in England. That's interesting. And the last item I got which I wasn't planning on getting. I went on their website and I saw it and I thought oh my god the packaging is so cute but I don't need it. And then because they had £10 off that pounds i thought well i might as well just add it to my basket because i couldn't find anything else i wanted so this is the happy go lash i think this is a new mascara from the body shop i could be wrong but look at the packaging this is so cute this is literally the cutest mascara packaging i've ever seen love the look of green plants on pink stuff i just love it so much look over there got a plant i got some plants on my window ledge so i've had a body shop mascara before and i really really love it it's one of my favorite mascaras so i'm looking forward to trying this beauty so i might actually take some pictures of this on my instagram instagram theme is all like pink and it's got a bit of green in it and it's matte packaging as well this is so beautiful um but yeah i needed a new mascara anyway so as you can see these two are from the same range but i have this product here which is also part of that range and i got this in the calendar over a year ago and i haven't tried this yet so this is a cleansing butter so it's similar to this because this is a cleansing oil but this is a cleansing butter and i just thought the formula for this is quite weird like i prefer to use like an oil than a butter let me see if i can open it up so i can show you guys what i mean i feel like i feel like the product would be quite like hard to use. I don't really know. I'm not sure how I feel about this. If you've used this product before then please let me know how you get on with it. Here's my little baby lips collection. I decided to put these at the front and actually see them a bit better. You may have noticed that I haven't actually cleaned out my hamster cage. I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to doing that. Probably probably once I know when I'm getting new hamsters I'll clean them out. But for now I just really like them like having stuff in them as if a hamster was actually living in them. I just hate seeing empty cages.
So good morning everyone, today is Sunday, so I thought I would do my makeup and talk to you guys at the same time. I just really feel like filming something today. I have a couple of pet related stuff to share with you uh, once I do my makeup. So I've got my basket with all my makeup products in there which I picked out. I've tried to pick slightly different things to what I was using last time. So I've already washed my face. My skin is actually a lot better than how it was the other day. I'm not sure how well it was shown camera. So I'm going to be using this primer which is by elf it's the mineral infused face primer but this one is just the um clear one i don't really like this primer um but i am just trying to use it up and i think it is actually finished yeah i think that's it so i just got a little bit there and i think that should be enough to do my makeup i'm actually really happy that this is finished because i did not like this primer at all Yep, so that is completely done. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it is um, gorgeous. It is so, so, so nice. But this primer does absolutely nothing for oily skin. Um, but like I said before, I don't really like wasting makeup. Um, so I've been wanting to try and use it up. This is just about enough to do my whole face. But, you know, it's going to have to do. My skin does actually feel really soft though. Um, but it doesn't help to make my makeup last. So this is the Revolution Stick Foundation and this is what I'm going to be using today. So, so I have this in the shade F13. Um, I've used this a couple of times before. I did ask Lily for this for Christmas because um, I had never tried out a stick foundation. This is a really nice uh, foundation but I'm not a huge fan of uh, the finish because I do have oily skin and it is a dewy finish. I'm just going to be using this uh, Body Shop brush. I'm not entirely sure what type of brush this is. Is it a buffing brush? I don't know but I do like to use this to sort of uh, blend out my foundation. So I'm just going to be using the same powder that I was using last time when my camera actually decides to focus. Um, so I don't know why but on camera this foundation looks like it's a completely different colour from um, my actual body but in person it doesn't actually look like that so I don't really know why it's showing up really funny on camera. So today I actually might use a blusher. I haven't used a blusher in months um, so I feel like I might actually go and use one. So I have some blushes back here. Um... I think, oh, I have three. I completely forgot about that. So I have these three blushes. This one is by Revolution. This one's in the shade Sugar. This one is, well, this one was, this one was one of my favourite blushes. Then I have this one, which is from Primark. And here's the shade name. And this blusher was honestly another one of my favourites. And then I have this one, which I did get more recently and here's the name for this one um so i think i might go for this one so the brush that i would normally use to apply my blusher i've actually used it to apply my foundation so i'm just going to be using this brush probably isn't supposed to be used for blusher but who cares do i even remember how to apply this or where it goes it's been a very long time since i've worn blusher hopefully it doesn't look too bad okay, now i kind of wish i didn't apply the blusher but oh well is this okay next i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows so if you guys are familiar with my channel then you might have heard me mention a couple of vlogs ago that me and charlie are going um back to watford to go to the um harry potter studio tour and i'm honestly so 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 looking forward to going back there um because they've got like the gringross bank which is new they opened that up uh last month and it looks really really good and they've also got a chocolate frog calf and if any of you guys know me well then you would know that i absolutely love chocolate frog stuff or maybe i've just never told anyone that <laughs> but i absolutely love chocolate frog related things and if you go to the studio tour you can actually get um a chocolate frog and you get a wizard's card with it the first wizard i got was Salazar sliver and i always knew that i was going to get him first because i just have like the worst luck and he was someone i did not want but the second time i went i got helga hufflepuff and i was so happy because i'm actually a hufflepuff so 
if any of you guys like Harry Potter and you know what house you're in, then comment down below. I feel like most people end up being in Gryffindor or Slytherin. Like, I've only ever known one Ravenclaw and hardly anyone is in Hufflepuff. I absolutely love being in Hufflepuff. That's honestly such an underrated house. And JK Rowling actually said if she was to be in any house, she would want to be in Hufflepuff. So, you know, that makes it even better. I'm going to be using a different mascara today. So this one is by The Body Shop. And this is one I got in the calendar last year. And I was so happy because I absolutely love mascaras. It's called The Lash Hero. And it's double-ended because one side is the mascara and the other side is the fibres. Um, so the fibres are supposed to make your lashes look a bit thicker, I'm guessing. So as you can see, I've done one lash with mascara so you can see it does make quite a big difference so one thing so one thing i didn't do last time and i haven't actually done it in a little while but i normally like to line my waterline so i got this eyeliner which is really good i got it off amazon a little while ago but i really need to get a new one um this one it has a liquid eyeliner but this one has been dried out for god knows how long um but on top it's got a pencil liner and it works really really well and um, so what i usually do is i line my waterline maybe do like halfway yep yeah, so i've just put some black liner on my waterline i don't know it just looks really really pretty i feel like if you have small eyes it's not really that good to make your eye area look really dark but if you have like really big eyes like i do it makes your eyes pop um but i haven't been doing this for ages i used to do it all the time but the past couple of times i've done makeup i just haven't been bothered to do it so i need to go ahead and do this eye the same now but yeah it makes a massive different so i've done my eyes now i need to do my lips which is the last step so i was going to go for this baby lips which was from their pop art collection i think i have the whole collection of these um was this the blueberry one yeah this one is blueberry boom and it smells like a blueberry muffin it's insane i love blueberry muffins they're amazing i was going to use this one but i think i'm going to go for this one instead this is called chai tea latte i think and this one is I don't know it smells all right it kind of just smells like spice stuff and i think this one was from one of their holiday collections i didn't really understand this holiday collection they've done winter ones before there was this one a pumpkin spice and some kind of cupcake one which i don't have i need to get it so i'm gonna go for this one it's sort of like this kind of reddish color um but yeah back on to the topic of harry potter um i really love collecting um harry potter pin badges and key rings i don't use them i just like to collect them and you can get some really nice ones in primark sometimes um but they also do some really good ones at the studio tour and at the platform nine and three quarter shop find shops that design their own pins and a lot of the shops that create harry potter pins oh my god some of them are so unique and beautiful and i've got a whole list of ones i want to buy i did get one the other day um called uh, i think it's called um i think they're called studio pins and paper or something like that i got a love potion pin and it's beautiful and then i went ahead and i ordered another one which i'm waiting for i finished my makeup and i actually really like this baby lips it's such a pretty color honestly just so 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 excited to go back to the studio tour again with charlie in august so we're actually going for his birthday i'm um, going to be spending two nights in a hotel instead of one night so everything is not as rushed as it was the previous two times we went um, and i'm going to be vlogging this time as well of course and is my camera even in focus no, but it is now. So now on to hamster related stuff. So I did spend a good couple of hours yesterday packing a load of treats. And if you guys remember earlier on in this vlog where I showed you the drawer, it was looking kind of empty. Um, but I did hit my time yesterday and I filled up the whole drawer. I've got to bake some more treats very soon. I'm going to try and do that before I have college on Thursday. And also I got the final product that will be included in the June hamster boxes. So I thought I would also go ahead and show you that. So this is what the June hamster box would look like so we've just got the thank you note on top and then we got pink tissue paper and I did show you guys these items already and here we have the product I was just talking about so these are the nature's paws 
fruit boost raspberries these are freeze-dried raspberries these are kind of expensive they're about three pound a pack or three pounds something a pack i think hamsters would absolutely love this this is the second time i've included a treat from this brand I included two in the may boxes the may boxes i've already sent out now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the drawer with all the treats and stuff in i do actually have some orders that i need to pack i'm not entirely sure when i'm going to be doing that but i will go ahead and film it for you guys so here's how everything looks like i said it's really nice and full it's pretty stocked up um so as you guys know i've got all the nib lots back here um in here i have some whimsies chews um over here i've got all the different flavors of ocean nibbles so we've got coconut we've got beetroot uh whole wheat beetroot um plain whole wheat and then we just got the plain ocean nibbles there in this one we have pea flakes uh, banana bites, apple bites, uh, this one we have freeze dried chicken and um, we also have some coconut and then at the front we have paw print cookies and then here I have lots of yogurt drops and chocolate drops and then over in here I have some fruit and nut treats. I also thought I would mention that you can now actually pick which design you would want on the website um, so there's four different designs and I've actually numbered them so I know which is which but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling now I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you've managed to stay all the way till the end then thank you so much if you've made it all the way to the end of this video then comment a pink flower emoji so I know you've stayed all the way to the very end um, and also if you could maybe leave a comment um, saying why you enjoy my video what made you even subscribe to my channel or maybe say how long you've actually been subscribed to my channel that would be quite interesting to see as well um but yeah so i am going to stop rambling now and get on with what i need to do today and i will see you all in my next video which will most likely be a packing hamster orders video again so bye for now guys and i'll see you in my next vlog <laughs>